What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you an unplanned video. I weren't meant to be making any videos whilst I'm on holiday, but plans change. Uh, basically, what I'm doing today guys, I'm going down to a WAW wrestling show uh, in about, what's the time? In literally about half an hour. So... I'm going to be vlogging the event, or I say vlogging, it's just going to be me recording, I've never done a vlog like majorly before, so I'm not sure, but yeah, it's, I'm not expecting too many good things, it's hosted, oh, I don't have many high hopes, it's £4 for a ticket, so you know, I don't feel like it's going to be the greatest show of all time, but it's hosted by WWE Women's Wrestler Paige, um, it's hosted by her family. She'll be there, you never know. But, um, no, I, I doubt it. She's under contract for WWE, so that's not going to happen. But anyways, guys, so I bought this, I bought it up in case there was an event like this on. And I'm already wearing my Seth freaking Rollins shirt, as you can see right now. But I'm not sure whether to bring my replica belt or not. It's it's difficult decision, because I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. Because I feel like I don't want them looking at me and thinking... I mean, I'm not, and I've never said I am, and I'm not part of this, and I don't want to sound like a dick here, but this is sort of the part of the video where I'm, I'm serious, you know what I mean? Um, I don't want people to look at me and think, oh, what a, a snob, and that he's like got money, and you know, shit like that, because, I mean, I'm not like that. It's just, I've come there to watch, I've come to watch the wrestling, and I'm a big wrestling fan, that's why I paid over £100 for a belt. It's not like I'm, I'm not sure, I just, it's just a difficult decision, but I don't think I'm going to be bringing my World Heavyweight Championship, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm getting some really dirty looks right now. Look, look at this, look at this, guys. Why are you giving me a dirty look? Hey, are you? <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to the show with my mum. I don't really have anything else to say until then, so I'll see you when I am there. Goodbye. Basically, guys, there was a lot, quite a few things that I missed out in the actual video. I don't, I don't think people in there were very fond of me recording the event, so I didn't really want to be talking to the camera or anything to show that it was going up. You know, you know what people are like. I mean, for example, if they saw that I was recording myself and putting it on, they would automatically assume it would be going on YouTube and they'd probably question me. Um, I mean, that's probably me thinking a bit too far, but that's just, but at the time, that's what went through my head, and I was thinking, no, I can't be bothered with this hassle. But anyways, it was a really good show, but um, yeah, basically, coming up next, it is a, um, it's a singles match between a wrestler known as, I think it was Alex Young and Battle Cat. Now, this was a quite a good match, after, it was the opening match. I wasn't expecting too much for the opening. There was only three matches on the actual card. Um, a singles match, a tag match, and a women's match. So, yeah, let's get right into the singles.
And then Bobby is going to come out and say, Ken. Everybody off the line is a bit hazy. Am I working? Everybody in this room. Baby, listen to it. Everybody in this room. So I'll tell you over there, chicken. singles match guys and there was one part of it where there was a spike DDT <laughs> and I didn't notice it until after because I was looking through the camera I wasn't really watching the actual ring if that makes sense at points but it turns out the battle cat actually spiked himself into the corner and it looked amazing on camera that there wasn't a reaction from many of the crowd but I if I saw it like when I was there I wasn't really paying attention but if I saw it when I was there I would have cheered because the way he sold it everything was great but anyway without further ado main event time tag team match let's go <laughs>
I really enjoyed the tag team match. It ended, after it ended, I didn't record this bit, but the two heels started pushing each other and they had a bit of a fallout at the end, but that was that. And after the event, I managed to get my photo with Nemesis and Battle Cat. And I was talking to Nemesis about being a pro wrestler and what it's like. And he said to me, and these were his words, now I'm serious now because these are his words and I, I want all you guys to hear this as well. He said, don't let anybody tell you that this stuff's fake. We get hurt in that ring. That ring isn't a trampoline, it isn't your parents' bed. It's a completely different story and if anyone wants to call it fake, tell them to jump in a ring and land back first. Enough said. So I really appreciated them words from Nemesis. I wish I actually got him on record saying that because that would have been awesome to put in the video and to maybe send to a couple of haters. But um, yeah, I did get a photo with Battle Cat and Nemesis, so I'll put that up for you guys right now. And yeah, anyways, I do want to say a massive thank you to WAW Wrestling for giving me a good show. Um, it was a lot better than I expected it to be and I do recommend that if you guys are in the Norfolk area or just wherever WAW happened to be at the time I definitely recommend you go to one of their shows. The tickets are really cheap, around £4 each. Uh, me and my mum I think paid yeah, around £4. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great family entertainment. It's not just for hardcore fans. There was a few couple hardcore fans that maybe messed it up for the crowd a little, as most of the crowd was a family-friendly crowd that didn't really not a lot, no, no, that didn't really know a lot about the sport of pro wrestling. A lot of them were family-friendly fans that didn't really know a lot about like hardcore pro wrestling. They were just there to have a great, uh, to have a good family night out. So, yeah, um, I'll leave WAW's website in the description below. And once again, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.